Come Have Coffee with Michelle is sponsored by Cincinnati Museum Center. Time for coffee with former state senator Eric Kearney. He's now leading an effort to get more opportunities for small business owners. Eric is Cincinnati born and raised and working to make the Queen City better. And in a new role with the Ohio Chamber of Commerce, he's lending his talents to the entire state. And just when I thought I knew Eric pretty well, he surprised me. Take a look. Come Have Coffee is all about getting to know you a little bit better. And a lot of people, you've been around for a long time. You're saying Are you guy. saying I'm old? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what that Not means? Not saying you're old at all. Because <laughs> if you're, you're old, saying. then I'm ancient. So, <laughs> um, but tell us one thing that maybe people don't know about Eric Kearney. Um, well, I like to go fly fishing. I don't think people know that. Fly fishing? Yes, I love fly fishing. What do you love about it? Uh, you're in the stream, you're in waders, you're out trying to uh, catch trout. That's what you're, you're fishing for. Okay. And it's, it is the most relaxing, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So you can be out on a stream for six hours and it seems like you're out there for 20 minutes. Who knew? Fly fishing. And this guy just loves fishing. A former state senator, publisher of the Cincinnati Herald, attorney, and now president of the Greater Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky African American Chamber, Eric Kearney has found a sweet spot. I'm really focusing on small businesses, helping people who want to be entrepreneurs to realize their dreams. Why, why is that so important? Well, I, I like entrepreneurship because of the independence of it, the self-expression that people have in, in developing a business. I think it's very important for people to own things and to be able to uh, determine their own destiny. And so that, that is appealing to me. And, you know, I just like entrepreneurs, people who are trying to do new things. Yeah. I enjoy that. I'm very attracted to new things like let's try something that's crazy because who knows it might work out right. and so that part of it is really appealing. Eric is proud of his Cincinnati roots, the city's evolution and the opportunity to get things done. I think one great thing about Cincinnati is if you are somebody who is trying to meet new people or trying to make a difference it's very easy to do that here yeah. so I think that if you have an idea or a concept and you want to try it and you want to get other people to help you with it, I would say that's the greatest thing about Cincinnati, that you can really connect with people to make a difference. Let me ask you this. Um, your wife is vice mayor mm -hmm. of the city. Do you ever get called uh, Mr. Jan Michelle or? Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> I get called uh, second gentleman. <laughs> I get called Mr. Lemon Kearney. Uh, Mr. Jan Michelle, all of that stuff, yeah. Anything else about Eric Kearney that we should know? Well, I think of Michelle Hopkins as a friend. Does that get me any, <laughs> does that get me anywhere? That gets you points. And cheers. Cheers. And that is classic Eric Kearney, that sense of humor, kind of dry, right? But you gotta love it. Still can't believe he's into fly fishing either. Anyway, best of luck to Eric and his team at the African American Chamber of Commerce. Coming up next time, we are refilling your coffee cup with FC Cincinnati's Nick Hagland. This guy loves coffee more than I do. He's a hometown favorite and one of my favorites. After all, he was willing to coach me in soccer, and that is a hard job. <laughs> next time on Come Have Coffee.